Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four-leaf cloak. Diamonds wanna go. Hello everyone, this is Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys are having an awesome Friday for today. In today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing on how to transfer files from your PC to your PlayStation Vita or your PSTV using FileZilla FTP client. With that being stated out the way as well, if you guys could please be sure to follow my social medias so you never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials I drop on my channel. The best way on how to know that is just following my Twitter because that's where I mostly primarily um you know give the information to y'all guys so you know when my latest content drops for the PC. PS3, Vita, and other tutorials that you know I drop on my channel. Um, as well, if you do want to support my channel, you can feel free to you know donate via my PayPal. You can check that in the link in the description below. Any of the donation money I may receive from my supporters or my fans will go straight back into my YouTube channel. It will help me buy things such as a better camera, you know, a better microphone, and you know other editing tools so I could create you know the best type type of content for my you know community. As well, speaking of my community, if you do want to join my official discord you can join via in the link in the description below or you can just type in in the url bar as showcased here not only do you meet new people from the hacking and modding scene but if you need support for your favorite system such as the vita ps3 or you just have any questions or if you just want to talk to me you could go ahead and just join my official discord um for today's prerequisites and things you'll need basically we're going to go ahead and start off with the you know steps and all that fun stuff but any of the things i state will be in a download description below of course you need a modded playstation vita or pstv via using a hankaku h on core or the trinity hack your system needs to be on 3.60 to 3.70 firmware if you don't know how to hack basically from 3.70 or lower i will have a card right now to show you on how to jailbreak your playstation vita or pstv if your system's on 3.71 unfortunately you cannot do any of this stuff since there hasn't been an exploit publicly released for that firmware but um if you're on 3.70 and lower then you could go ahead and hack your vita or tv as well you need the latest version of vita shell and last but not least you need files of the ftp client for this uh tutorial or a usb cable to transfer your files but for today it just going to be sticking with files of the ftp client since i want to be teaching you guys on how to you know remotely transfer files from your pc to vita with all that fun stuff getting out the way i just want to give a special thanks out to the official flow for making vita shell and all of the you know exploits for the vita so shouts out to him but all that um you know getting out the way we could go ahead and get started on the pc side of things so i'll meet you guys there Alrighty guys, so assuming that you did follow all of the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we could go ahead and get started on the PlayStation Vita side of things. So of course, you need to be on a hack system, so unfortunately if you're on 3.71, you can't do this. But if you already have the Trinity uh, Exploit or the Agent Core or Hankaku, or if you're using Hankaku Enzo like me, you could go ahead and already do this. So if, for example, if you're already in uh, Trinity or if you're using Trinity, go ahead and if you don't already have Vita Shell already installed, just go to the second option, go ahead and and install Vita Shell that way. If you're using H on Core, it's the same thing. Just go to the second option and install Vita Shell. If you're on the original hack, so basically 3.60. Just go ahead and run uh, Hankaku, and then once you're in Molecular Shell, you can also do the same thing and then just get Vita Shell installed from that way, just with the FTP server. But if you're on Hankaku Enzo like me, and you already have probably Vita Shell already installed, what we're going to do is just go ahead and run it just like any homebrewing app. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then once we're into Vita Shell as showcased here, what we're going to do is go ahead and make sure that we're on our FTP server or basically we're going to be transferring files that way. So make sure you hit start on your PlayStation Vita or if you're using a PS3 controller on a PS TV, just go ahead and hit start from that way. And what we're going to do is scroll all the way down to the select button by using our d-pad and then either hitting left and right so by hitting left and right for example if you're going to do this with usb which is not for today's tutorial what we're going to do is just basically um toggle left and right 
from here so if you it's stating if you're on FTP it's telling your reader hey we're going to be using our um, IP to transfer files over instead if we toggle this way via from a USB it's just saying hey our USB cable is connected to our PS Vita to our PC this is how we're transferring our files for today but for today we're just going to be doing FTP so make sure it's toggled to that and now we can hit circle out make sure your Wi-Fi is already on for this uh, method and now what we're going to do is go ahead and hit select and you should get your FTP server running if you're you know you followed all the steps right and your Wi-Fi is you know enabled onto your Vita what we want to do now is just go ahead back out from our Vita to our PC and just leave the FTP or excuse me FTP server running since the um our IP is already broadcasted in the air from our Wi-Fi and then go open up files with the FTP client and I'll have a download for that in the description so let's go ahead and jump to the PC Alrighty guys, so one more thing that I did forget to mention while we was on the PlayStation Vita is if you're in Hankaku settings, what you want to do or basically want to verify first before you go into Vita Shell and set up your FTP server is make sure you have en enable unsafe homebrew on so we can see all of our directories in FileZilla because it will only just show up to UX0. So once you have that already checked in Hankaku settings, all you can do is just go back into Vita Shell as showcased here and then just go ahead and hit select and then just go back into your FTP server so it's showcased on the screen. Um, While that is on showcased on the screen, what I'm going to do is open up FileZilla FTP client and then once you see that on my screen, I'm going to go ahead and type in my Vita's IP aka the host and also the port. So all you would have to do for here is just hit one or your IP will be definitely different than mine's. So here's me typing my IP right now, but our ports will always be the same, which is one, two, three, seven. And then just go ahead and hit quick connect. Now, if you get this little insecure FTP connection error, uh, all you would have to do is just click this right now and then just hit OK. I don't know. It's just a little bug. And now you just see all of your directories in here. Some things I want to state, um, please do not mess with any of like the IMC0 directories, OS0, because this is where basically your Vita boots from. Um, this is how basically uh, it turns on every day, so do not mess with this directory. Uh, UMA0, this is a directory you can mess with. This is just for your extended storage if you're using SD to Vita. UX0 and UR0, um, this is where you could put your plugins, and this is where you will find your trophy information in UR0. So, for example, if I go into user, go into 00, and then go into trophy, it will basically all of my trophies are in this little directory right here. If I go out of uh, here, UX0 is primarily where most people will be working at when they transfer files via that way is UX0, aka your memory card. So if you mounted your memory card with SD to Vita, then you could um you know see all your contents from there if you mounted it as UX0. But this is where all of our you know contents will be. So under app, this is where all of your games and homebrew will be located once it's extracted out from a VPK or if you just have the game transferred over. Um, if you want to have any emulators and stuff, this is where you could put your games under UX0. I'm trying to see any other cool stuff. Uh, pictures. So if you ever have pictures or screenshots, um, I'm just going to go into a random folder because I know I use screenshots. You could just drag them out to your uh, PC as right here. Let me see. Yeah, and here is a little picture of Vita Shell. Let me just go ahead and put it into this little new folder right here. So yeah, here is the same file that you just saw me transfer over to uh, or out of my Vita. Here's just a random picture from my Vita that I took for Vita Shell. And yeah, so there's a, are some cool things on how to like, you know, transfer files over. Now, let's say I want to transfer any file over of choice and I want to put a VPK on here or game or whatever. What I could do is um, just transfer it over. So let me just go to my uh, gigabyte or basically my external hard drive. And let me go ahead and find any file from my Vita. So let me just do this. Um, I'm just going to go to my VPK and I'm uh, and just drag over a PKG. So even though I don't use PKG, I'm just going to go ahead and just drag it over for, you know, tutorial purposes. As you see here, um, basically it transferred over successfully and you can see my transfers over via right now. If I go scroll over here, successful transfers and you can see, you know, queued files over. Let's say if I want to transfer over another random file just to, you know, get the gist of it, I'm going to be transferring over um, update blocker. I'll use that. Let's see. Okay, so update blocker right here. 
I'm just going to drag it into this section of the folder. It'll tell me the directory where my transfer is coming from and then if it was successful and boom, you can see all my files here. What I'm going to do now is go to my PlayStation Vita and then uh, showcase on a bigger screen so you can see that my file successfully has transferred over. Alrighty, so as showcase here, what we need to do is just go ahead and cancel out by just hitting circle and now if I go into UX0 you're gonna see all of the files that we transferred over so if you remember the names of them PKG here is that file right here and here is also update blocker VBK now if I just want to install it on my Vita just like any normal VBK I could just go ahead and hit yes and then yes again and then I'll be installing just like any normal program even if you were in molecular shell for this but I'm just doing it in Vita shell and I do apologize that some of my uh, screen was blocking uh, some of the footage in the second, uh, you know, slide when I was just showcasing on how to do the stuff from the PC. But as you can see here, update blocker successfully transferred over to my um, Vita. If you do want uh, more information on how to install update blocker, I will have a card right now. It's an older video that I did like, uh, I don't even know, two or three months ago. But I do recommend since, you know, Sony keeps updating the Vita for whatever reason. So, you know, go ahead and install update blocker. But yeah, so with all that fun stuff getting out the way, I taught y'all guys on how to transfer files via with FileZilla FTP client. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and comment down below. If you guys have any questions on how to set this up or, you know, just want to leave a comment down below, I could go ahead and check that out via on my YouTube. But with all that fun stuff out the way, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Of course, I love the llamas. Nice and silky smooth.